show oh, Julie Stauffer, I show Dustin Johnson myself, I show Suzanne Humball, um, Attorney Derek Jones, and Clerk Treasurer Lisa Mullaney. I stand and do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes for 8-3-2016 regular session. The addition to the correction. Make a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. We have a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. We have a second to accept the minutes as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 Citizens, citizens input. <clears throat> yes, Mark. I, I wasn't there last time either. My wife made me go on vacation. <laughs> uh, usually I give the report for Marshall County EDC the, the first uh, Wednesday of the month. Um, so uh, I want to give it tonight, but do you want me to give it under citizens input or do you want to wait until we get down to department head reports? You're already talking. Good evening. <laughs> okay, I'm just so excited. <clears throat> okay, we break this down under um, under as you know five different areas. First one's marketing. Uh, in in the month of July, Jerry had uh, one showing. We call this, of course, we call this uh, business, their code name is Project Falcon because we have to keep it confidential. But they did come down here. Uh, they looked at our location. They liked the location. They liked the idea of rail. They liked the infrastructure. They liked the school. They did not like the idea that we did not have a shell building, so they left. They needed, they needed the building. Under product development, under the industrial park, uh, we talked about, with, with, with four of you, about, uh, and we're willing, you too, Julie, if we can catch you sometime, uh, on the uh, financing model that we've got uh, for that shell building. Marketing video. Uh, we discussed the uh, video budget discussion with Big Ideas. Survey was distributed by uh, MCEDC to targeted citizens. And I think, uh, think we had four? I don't remember. Okay, right. okay. And the filming area. So the filming has taken place. Uh, Jerry told me that they are in the final of that, of getting that developed. So that should be. The, the marketing video for us should be done just about any time now. Comprehensive plan, vision kickoff meeting, uh, he was there. MAKI, Zach Griff's comprehensive plan. We had a vision kickoff meeting summary provided, the comprehensive plan meeting schedule for the remainder of the project. Uh, on internal commit communications, meeting with Jim Burroughs, Harvey's economic uh, development retreat for the town council with IMPA and North Fork Southern, we had that. I had some discussions with Suzanne Umbaugh on the Argus Speedway. Hopefully that's moving forward. Argus tracking sheets were updated with Suzanne Umbaugh. RTC meeting at uh, the Argus Elementary School. Yeah, he attended the Argus Council meeting. And then, uh, of course, uh, at that delivered the proof of the uh, June uh, activity report. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Any other citizens input? Okay, moving on. Old business, attorney report. I think I only have one item of 
business to talk to you about or tell you about. There's actually good news here. We've got uh, the four-way computer lease agreement uh, got turned back in, signed by Mr. Humian, so that's ready for uh, town signature. It's set up for Dustin to sign and lease it to a test. So this is the original. Um, that's ready to be executed. That starts September 1. So we do need to go ahead and address that. See, and that's a lease that I had sent to them. Uh, I think late July. So we sent it to them. Make a motion we go ahead and enter a contract with four way communication. That was. Yes. Four way computer power settings, actually. For leasing space on the water tower. We got a motion. Second. We got a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That's all I have to report. That's it. That's it. I move to accept the attorney's report. I second. We got a motion and a second to accept the attorney report. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next up, new town or new server for town office. Everybody's got an estimate from their folder. The good news is, is that it's a little bit cheaper than the estimate that came in. He added sales tax on accident. So your grand total should be less the sales tax. I don't think Suzanne got in on that conversation last month. We've had our server go down twice now. Um, Bob Arcus cannot tell us why. Normally a server, when it goes down, it will at least record like lost power or some reason that it has shut itself off. So the first time it shut itself off at like 6 o'clock in the morning, we came in at 7 and had to call Bob out to reboot it because we weren't sure what was wrong with it. The second time, Candy and I, or Candy actually, she um, rebooted it and walked it through the steps. Bob came in later and tried to pull the error report, and the error report says nothing. In fact, the computer comes back and says, why did I shut down? <coughs> and so um, he recommended that we get a new server. It takes about a week to get a new server, and right now the hard drives for servers are um, very hard to come by, so he was trying to search for some hard drives even now. So um, he'd like to use a new server as our main server and use this other server as a backup in case the new one were to go down at any time. Oh, there's a server? Since 2013. So it's really not that old but it's also not telling us why it's shutting off. So without that information, he can't tell you why it's doing it. He's thinking it's a hardware issue. I know with computers sometimes it's not unusual to replace them every two, three years. Yeah, well the servers are supposed to last longer, but he um, told me that uh, he'd be happy to talk to the council if he wanted to come in. Um, he was caught at work tonight. I had asked him to come to this meeting. He emailed me and said that he had he was out and could not make the meeting. But he told me that he would come in and address the council if need be. Last time it went down, it took out our phones. Since we have voice over internet phones for police, fire, EMS in this building and our water and wastewater as well that server sends out ip address leases um to get kind of geeky here for a little bit um and when it shut down the lease is expired so then there's no way to get back to mama so to speak so 
that could be a very bad thing had we not caught it. Last time it went down sometime between Saturday and Monday, so I'm guessing sometime Sunday morning is when it went down. Um, and we noticed it when we came in because our phones were offline. Thought it was an RTC issue, everything looked good on their end. Uh, it was a lot of on the phone and texting and using cell phones to get things up. So everything shuts down when this thing goes out. So just for your information. I think Grandy was in favor of it when this was. Why you in the loop on this one? Because, like I said, I'm not the computer person you want to talk to about this. But I think we definitely need to have a reliable server. Right. And we could use ours as a backup. Or we could do a backup. Well, like I said before, we do backup everything to Carbonite. So everything is being backed up. But when it went down, it went down like Saturday night to Sunday morning. Carbonite did not have a chance to back up for the week. So that did create that kind of a problem. And then when we came in, it was the 15th of the month, which is when all the utility bills are due. So that kind of gave us a little bit of a scare. But you lose the phones too, so. Yeah, so they couldn't call to complain that we weren't. <laughs> I make a motion that we purchase a new server. We have a motion to purchase a new server for the town office. Second. We got a second. All in favor say aye. Can you uh, at this, are you talking about this one? Was, is that a server? Is this the server we are speaking about? Yes. yes. That wasn't clear. Was there. Oh. <laughs> no. All right, we have a motion and a second on the floor to purchase the new server, the estimate that you have in front of you. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Dis dispatch service agreement. We have in front of you. The Marshall County Board of Commissioners has already signed it, so they're waiting for us to sign it. Back page, you can read through the whole thing, which probably everybody has. And the back page has the prices for Argus. Derek, since this is to the town and we build a township, so are we speaking for them too then? We build the townships. For well, service for a fire protection, right. the, MS, the, the town gets the money from the townships percentage. They have it broken down here that the townships will pay X amount. Now is the town responsible to collect it from them? We're not no we can't we can't agree with this is a contract between Argus and the county. We can't agree on behalf of the townships. If we need to tweak our agreement with the township, so be it. We'll maybe have to do that. But wasn't that just for fire protection services or did that address this 911 system as well. Well, it's kind of all together yes. as far as the fire department EMS is concerned. We, we furnish the service to them. So the calls that we run out into the county is what that's based on. They're the way they did it. You went to the meetings, didn't you, Corey? I only made two of them. I didn't make all of them either. That's right. I made one. So, <laughs> This is for dispatch services, is it not, really? Yes. Right. Okay. What we yeah. have an agreement with the townships is for fire protection, isn't it? Yeah, this is just dispatch right. services. So I don't think, I think that's two separate issues. Well, that's what I'm wondering. <coughs> the townships going to have their own contract. 
the way I understand it. should be. <laughs> Uh, you went through this? I went through this, yeah, and I have a couple comments about it, but I've not thought about what you're raising. Have Walnut and Green Township paid this 879 or a number like that to the county in the past? Ever? Nothing? They only pay Argus the town. We haven't even paid it for years. We paid Plymouth. To dispatch us from the fire and then they quit doing it and it got turned over to the county and we never paid the county well we can't speak on behalf of the townships i think we need to worry about this again but i think that's fair to bring that up to the county that they you know walnut green township they aren't used to ever paying any kind of dispatch services and it's really kind of under the umbrella of argus but it sounds to me like there's going to be an additional this for those two townships, it's only $879, but it seems to me that they can pay the county, they can pay us. But we can't but that's, see the thing I'm getting at. It's not broke down to what Walnut's going to pay and what Green's going to pay. Right. We'd have to get that, well, and maybe that's just based on that same percentage that we have in that fire service contract. I know that's broken down in terms of a percentage. Right. Um, it would make sense the townships would adopt that same percentage. But I think that's something they're going to have to pay that as well. Each party. Now that you're saying that. I don't know if they've been approached. I've not heard anything from either township trustee. I've not heard anything from anybody, to be honest. But um, I would assume the county's trying to get them to contract as well. Because they want them on the committee. According to this, they yeah, but more than that, I think they put the eight hundred seventy-nine dollars. But I don't think that necessarily affects whether this, whether the town does or doesn't approve this agreement. But I think it's something to point out to the county that hey, you know, we're kind of we're kind of linked here with Green and Walnut Township and where they stand with an agreement between them and the county. What questions did you see? <laughs> they weren't so much questions, just I saw there's a typo on page eight. There's a culvert where it should be an Argus. It's in paragraph nine. We can simply cross that out and write Argus. That's fine. It's not even that big of a deal at any rate. But the, the one thing that I guess struck me when I was reading through this was that, and Corey, maybe you can help out and, and chime in here, but it talks about. Uh, any of the current equipment, supplies, personal property owned by the county is going to remain property of the county. Same for Argus. But it also then says initially as a part of the consideration for providing dispatch services under the financing consolidation provisions herein, the county and Argus shall each be responsible for the purchase, maintenance, and repair of their own hardware and software necessary to utilize the county dispatch services. I, I'm assuming that's when they when like the upgrade the radios or whatever. And that's kind of what I thought too, yeah. but right now you're working with the county, correct? Right now we do all our maintenance on our repeater here in the water tower. We have our own radio repeater for us. We pay for all of our personal radios, all the computer, all everything's paid for by the town for us. Right. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Right now we have software, hardware, and equipment that in essence meshes with the county dispatch service, right? We're utilizing county right now. No. Right. It, okay. it basically comes down to if you don't assign it or agree to it, they're not going to dispatch for it. Right. And you're out, and I got that. And I know that we don't maybe have a lot of push room here. We don't swing a very big stick. But I, it's kind of crazy. Right? I do want the town to be aware that it sounds to me that if the county decides to go to some new and improved system, it may amount to substantial expense on the part of the town to follow that to be able to continue to have the dispatch service. I don't know that it is, but well, it's just something that you just need to be aware of. That. I think they, they've got some plans in the works, I think. I, I mean, I'm just speaking off the cuff now. I, okay. They've got some ideas that they're wanting to do. I've heard them the sheriff talk in the meetings, but I, I don't know what we're talking about. I just, I I just want the council to know that, you know, and I know that we really, really don't have much of an option here, but we enter into this agreement 
and we need the dispatch, but if the dispatch gets upgraded or changed or modified, we need to make sure that we do the same to be able to utilize the dispatch service. And, and anything here with the town, that's on our end. Yeah, I was like, like you, the next sentence after where you stopped, it, it pretty much says that it's, if they change, we're going to be putting part of the bill, our portion. Right. What's to keep us from going to Fulton County and say, you want to dispatch us and go through our new internet system? And say, hey, Fulton County, let's pay you. You're going to be cheaper. You probably could. I say nothing. We've not really looked into that other than... I was under the impression we were going to have like four or five meetings with everybody and then this was going to be brought up. I think it was just, personally, I think they already decided what they were going to do, even when they had the meetings. Really. That was just said to me this week. Right. So, uh, the only thing they're doing differently is they're having a board to run the communication. Yeah, and, and there will, you know, according to that, language in the contract there's a chance that Argus Council would have a representative and I think that it's kind of a rotating schedule between they've already had the board set from what I understand that could be but it should be a at least a please fire an EMS I just got an email this week it has to be on it yeah and it's just <laughs> this week the understanding at the first two meetings where there were going to be two boards one would be one to write a policy, one to set rates. I mean, that was the, that was the way it was brought up, the way it was told, so you know, sold to us. And as of now, they're going to make the board after the contract. <laughs> That's just we got to have dispatch. I mean, and there again. I don't know. See that dispatch is broke down into two halves too. Your your phone bill is paying for your 911 service. After the initial call comes out, if, if Suzanne calls 911, the county is going to dispatch fire EMS or police. At that point, 911 is done. So now they want us to pay them for this person to say, "Oh, Argus, you need bourbon. We'll call them for you." That's what this is. It's a, there's a split line here. And the, and the way they added up the fees just doesn't, they just went through the radio and, and seen how many times you were dispatched. Well, that's from my understanding. Right. So how, does that take into account if they dispatched us to one of their calls out in the county, which happens while you see what I mean? The terms that It's not a perfect. but there's a 180 day you give a notice uh, to terminate the contract uh, in 180 days August 1st, 2016, if we. So yeah, that's what it says. So, Andrew, it just continues indefinitely, if I remember correctly. But. Hey, George. George. What about yeah. the text message you yeah, did? Where so right, they signed it? Um, I have no idea. I've not talked to them about that. Because they were talking about upgrading that system to where when they give us the address, we can just click on it and it will give us the GPS. Right. Or is that still in the works? Is that part of this? Or? Couldn't tell you. I don't know.
seriously? I'll go this year. We have an 80. I mean, if we sign this, we're agreeing to pay him that money. <clears throat> What's in your budget right now? For you're the only one's budgeted communication. I thought, four, I thought it was four thousand. I thought without looking at it, I couldn't. I thought it was four thousand. I'm not sure. Well, I'm just saying, if we, if we can sign this. We can sign this to keep the safety of our people in act. I mean, so that's right. we need it. And if we want to go look for something else, now that this has come up, the way it's come up, if there's even an option, we can do that. But you're going to get your money back. It doesn't say you got to pay it all up front. Are you going to get your money back? It says right here. So. Termination number nine. It says that the agreement term of the artist is entitled to an unused portion of the annual fee. When does the contract actually start? August we sign 1st. it August 1st. Retro. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I got this agreement and then yeah, return an the envelope. That's all I got. Right. So they're wanting the eight thousand dollars from last this year. Do what? So they're wanting the eight thousand for this year. That would be a yearly. Yeah, but when would you have to have that's what I'm saying? But it doesn't say when the payment is due. I can go a little long time. I ain't got the whole thing. <laughs> well, if it's going to August, they're gonna have to like not gonna charge the payment here. Probably yeah. four months. Yeah. Probably yeah. four months, yeah. I think we need to go into the agreement just to, I don't know. You know, they're again, who's to say they won't shut it off? Who's to say they won't quit if we don't sign it? I mean, I hope not. Always try. Yeah. Maybe it's soon. But I don't. Say nine one one is still under effect. It's just it, it won't it won't help you with mutual aid or anything like that. We got to have a dispatch. That's just a given. If you look under G, it says time. Time is of the essence of this yeah. agreement. Okay. Yeah, there's no deadline that says they're going to cut us off either. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we go into the dispatch service agreement with Marshall County. We knew eventually they were going to get us, George. <laughs> We've talked about that for years. <laughs> I'll second it. I mean, we got to have it for now. We just need it. Okay, motion is second go into the service agreement with Marshall County for dispatch services. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Old library. Nobody got me anything. I mean, I waited. He never, I got no emails, I got no response. I called, left a message, nothing today. Or this week. All right. Next up is Christmas decorations. Okay. Oh, you guys asked the redevelopment commission to look into this. Um, we looked, went over the catalogs that we were provided. Uh, you've got written down what I've got here. What I do not have in this proposal is the cost of the poles. I know we had talked uh, in the last town council meeting that metal poles versus wood poles. Um, finally got with Jim face to face today. He says 
cost of poles would be 475 a pole for 950 a pair because the idea is to cross Michigan Street north and south ends and have a nice Christmas restoration over that. Uh, the cables between the poles would be negligible. So that would be with the cost of decorations, which we went with the 12 Days of Christmas theme, which pole would have its own distinctive decoration. Um, and then this 40 foot silhouette starburst with swag skyline, which would span north and south of town. Um, total cost I come up with with the poll cost tonight would be $8,795 being if we order before September we get a 30% discount. The discount becomes less after September and I forget what it goes down to. I know that the Redevelopment Commission also voted amongst themselves that we would like a set of polls out in our TIF district but the same swag on Across Highway 10, I'm talking to Mr. Burroughs, we have to have a permit from INDOT to do so. Correct? That's correct. Okay. And that needs to be worked on. Look at that. No call. Put it permit. So that's what I have right now. So if you have any questions, I hope you got the pictures of what we do. In your packets, what we're talking about. So by September, does it mean like like September first, or by the end of September? That's when I take it when I read the catalog, George. <clears throat> yeah, this is by September first. Like tonight's the decision. <laughs> and to be honest, George, I'm holding a different catalog in my hand, and the prices from I remember out of this company have gone up since the last catalog from them, also. So getting closer to their deadline so and the prices I met we went with LEDs which is a little bit more expensive but hopefully that'll be less maintenance for the electrical department. You have to do something about Ramadan too. I forget the Ramadan. <laughs> That's your problem. Right. You're not religious. Yeah, I heard it. This doesn't matter to me. I'm not politically correct, but it's not happy. Somebody would. Somebody <laughs> Well, I yes and no. <laughs> I think we need updated, but I'm looking at everything else we spent this year, what we're going to into the monument. I don't know. But. <laughs> Stupid really pole. We got good ones enough for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> We have a motion and a second to purchase the Christmas decorations with the Christmas decoration proposal that we have in front of us. Is there further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. <laughs> like the way the year. I hope that makes the cut. I'm going to get beat up now. <laughs> Next up is Green Slope Monument. All right, real quick. I went up and, done, I went up and did some measuring. It depends on how much money we want to spend and how much revamping we want to do after talking with a couple of members of the park board. And if the people are, know the up, Uptown Park, you have three separate columns or radiuses of concrete up there. To the left, you have the flagpole. To the center, we have a water fountain. And to the right, we already have a monument there. 
talked about taking the flagpole and moving it, putting the new monument there so that it would be on the opposite sides of where the water fountain is, replacing the water fountain, moving the flag. Brought that up in conversation with people and where we discussed everybody just, uh, the, the flag in front of the cannon just looks like you're shooting at it. So I don't know. Now I'm now I'm in a catch-22. Real quick numbers for the for just let's say we take it, the flagpole out, just cut that slab, throw a footer in, set that monument, call it good till next year. You're at three yards of concrete for the for the footer and five or six bars. So I mean you're under uh, five hundred bucks for the footings. Now, you, we also talked about extending a sidewalk from where the water fountain is up to the cannon and replacing all the concrete that's up there with new so that it would all conform and look the same. You're looking at about $2,700 worth of concrete and materials. That's no labor. That's just concrete materials. That's not taking anything out, doing anything. That's, that's high price. That's board price. That's not town discount or whatever. And these prices are probably, they could be cheaper here. This is just what we get out of Fort Wayne. So I guess the, the decision this year is how far do we want to go, what do we want to do between now and veterans today? Do we just like said, do we just want to, when we talked about removing that tree, that one dead tree, we think general consensus is to get rid of that tree before we set the monument, just so there's no, it's true. the one right behind that water fountain to the west, or to the north, yeah, so the one that's already dying and split. To get rid of that before we ever set the monument. I think that, but then where are we going to set the flagpole? Are we going to be able to take the flagpole and not have it up through the winter? And we put it up, I don't know. Do. Any luck on the, the black people? No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we still got, we can we can make this decision the 1st of September, but then we got to get the whole done and get the floor in, if that's all we're going to do. So those are, everything's pretty much symmetrical up there. I mean, when they put them in, they put them in distance-wise and everything. So that that's where I'm going with you guys. If you just want to move the flagpole, set the monument, we can wait till Suzanne talks to those people about the flagpole that was donated and make that decision next meeting. I mean, we've got plenty of time for that concrete to cure, so I probably should do that. So there's not a real big expense if Jim can do that. I, I know it I wouldn't even, wouldn't even be feasible to ask him to do the whole thing. Cut the old slab, poor footer, that I think is doable. Other than that, I, I wouldn't even ask you to try that. To do that with everything that's that we are, have currently going you're correct because then if we decided to change the rest of it that's already set you can pour up against it it's not going to hurt it so i say we get suzanne's information that you get a hold of people and randy should be back and then we can go from there at the next meeting we, we still have time to get that footer in because they said it's not going to be here until the week before Veterans Day. Okay. That's what I was told when I talked to her this week, the monument company. And this has all been run by the park board? Well, the members that were there. Okay. Because last, last month we did have a form. Mm -hmm. That's another reason that it's not going to hurt us to wait till the 1st of September to also run them in the loop. But we have a meeting tomorrow night, I hope. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you, George. All right, first, we're going to go to boards. First, I have two letters of resignation right here for the cemetery board, which leaves one member. Um, one letter is from Ruth Millizer, and the other letter is from Janet McKay. So, at this point, with one member, I'm going to abolish the cemetery board.
and the town will take over the responsibilities, all the responsibilities, until we uh, get more members or decide to whatever we decide to do with it. So we still have openings on Marshall County Tourism, the Planning Commission, Redevelopment, and the BZA. So if you're interested, submit a letter to Lisa. to make sure that we're okay with doing that. Um, What's cheat sheet? Well, the yeah, qualifications. It says that he gets three and they don't have any qualifications at their is, he, is there a political party issue? Is he correct? Political party? Or is he on a member of the board and that's an issue? All I'm saying is we need to make yeah. sure right. before we just appoint him right this second. Is he qualified as an applicant to be on your development? And I'm asking, has anybody checked? I did. You did? And you're comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the book, it just says that he basically has to be uh, pre-holder in the town, which he has to be Okay. And again, I don't have all the qualifications memorized for all the committees and boards, but I know we went through that. I know I put together I that sheet, know. but I'm just saying, before we appoint somebody, then have to right. off. All right. Let's make sure that they... <laughs> Get on. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go get the book? Do we need to? You can look at it. I'll look at it. We'll come back to this. Um, any other old business? New business. Uh, I got a concern. I don't know if this is a question for the lawyer or not, or whether I'm speaking out of turn, but I'm going to ask. Jim, 12 years. Now that we have school buses coming into Argus picking up students if they want to, and they, they can go quote to the library because it's a public spot, or down to the police station. Who's responsible for those children being left? uptown off the school bus. Did you say this is a question for me? I, I'm asking you, is it, a, is it a question for you? Is it a concern for us as a town council? I mean, I know we can't just say, hey, they're coming into Argus some non-public property and picking up students. We have no control over that. But when they say where they can go in the town if their parents aren't there, I don't know that we have any more control over that than the mom that decides to drop the kids off the library anyway to do who knows what. Um, they're not going to artist schools, and even if it was, we don't control them. I don't. I have trouble seeing any major issue with that. Okay. <clears throat> so I got it. Let's move back to that real quick. What's you say? Doing school. I what do you do at department head report? Let me take a look at this okay. and then come back to it. Mm -hmm. All right, department head reports. Let's go to the police department. Let me show you my report here back. Yeah. Um, 
highlight a few things. For the month of July, we had 22 criminal investigations, 23 code enforcement violations. Um, wrote three ordinance tickets, wrote 34, 34 traffic arrests, 119 traffic stops, four criminal arrests, and a couple other things. We ended the hiring process last night for the new office to replace Jeff Barkley and the um, police commission will meet Friday to with their vote to decide who they're going to hire. And I believe the air conditioning problem has been kind of solved in the, the PD. I think there was a... <laughs> a couple of vents that were not working right and Doug went up and fixed them. Do what? Well, the PD doesn't. They don't care about the PD. Just as long as... As long as... Never mind. Stop it. I know, that's, that's why I stopped. Alright, thank you, Tori. Um, utilities. My reports in your packet. Um, the highlights are we have one interruption of service. Our customers... Service came unattached from their house. It was old. Um, only interrupted one one person. Um, we advertised and uh, interviewed three people for part time, um, and we ended up hiring Mike Fishburn. Um, he was working over here at the hardware. Now he's working for us part time. Um, passed all the background checks, the drug testing, and all that. So that all came back good. Water, we had three main breaks. Well, they weren't main breaks, they were service line breaks. Um, two of them were in that quadrant of town, which would be Williams and First Street. And then we had a valve start leaking at the intersection of uh, First Street and Williams Street. So we consequently had to pull our crew off of the sand pit volleyball that they were working on out at the park uh, to fix some water leaks. The other thing, uh, we pushed back our uh, walking trail extension out to McDonald's due to the paving company's schedule. We will start um, the walking trail on the 22nd of this month, weather permitting, and they are on track to complete the um, trail the first week in September. And then the last thing is I'll be out of the office for a couple weeks, August 30th. Um, I'm having knee replacement, so I'll get back in here as soon as I can. Jamie will be in charge, and he has a pretty good handle on what I'm expecting while I'm off. So but that's my report. Okay, yeah. Fire EMS. Fire Doug Middleton had the report for the fire when he went home. He um, had a loss, so he had to. He wasn't able to bring the report into me, but I will get it to you this week. Did they say? When is, did they say anything about taking that truck over? You mean for the to get it fixed? Yes. I sent all this stuff into the insurance company. We just haven't heard back. Okay. All right, we've got a motion to accept the department head reports, except for fire and mm -hmm. We've got a motion. Second. We've got a section. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. 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 Claims, 925 through 978. Okay. Um, the claims for the docket for August 17th, the total docket was $77,682.24. They were claim numbers 925 through 978. The top five claims are 
Number one was payroll for $31,494.65. Number two was uh, the Town of Argus monthly sewer transfer for $7,800. Number three was Indiana Department of Revenue sales tax was $7,548.59. Number four, Indiana Department of Revenue <coughs> withholding tax, $4,369.21. And number five was Annexer Power Solutions at $3,182.04 for a total of $54,394.49. Those top five claims represent 70% of the total docket. Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 